Play Radio. I hope y'all ready Friday night, man, for this Ebony Gala. I hope you got your suits right, ladies. I hope your gowns are right, your shoes is right, your hair is right, your nails is done. It's going to be major, man. Shout out to DJ Nexus. We're going to turn up in that Caribbean room for sure. So, ladies, be ready to sweat your hair out and all of that, guys. Take your neckties off. Grind up on something, wind up on something. It's gonna be major. Candace, don't don't act like that because we know we're gonna see the real Jamaican come up out of you. I'm not grinding right. on nobody. Oh, okay. All right, we'll <laughs> see. Hey, we we gonna have that see. GoPro, trust me. Exactly. Exactly. We, we I'm will get some see. uncut scenes, Candace. <laughs> put you on blast. Yeah, we will y'all see. ain't catching me acting up. We will see. So make sure you guys come out to the Ebony Gala Friday night. It's an event that you do not want to miss. But without further ado, we have our guest in the building. We have Yo Soy's very own, my man Joseph James in the building. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? You looking all broke, you looking to smoke, I'm looking to drink, my face in the sink. Yeah. 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 Penny on the weekend, penny all night. Drinking all day, man, drinking all night. Rolling around and I'm chilling with the squad. Pour another round. What's good? Hey, yo, just real quick. Tell me how great it is to have a DJ, a part of your team, who plays your your own personal drops during your interview. Inter- right, exactly. I didn't even know <laughs> that one was key. coming. Major key. Major key. Major key. Major key. Major key. Major key. Come on. I can't, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> Major key. But, yo, it's good to have you on the thank show, you, man. You. We've been listening to the music. The music is great. We love the music. Um, so, man, go ahead, man. Tell us, tell us who Joseph James is, man. Yeah, I mean... Um, Joseph James. Some people call me Joey for short. Um, I, some people would say, how did you get the name Joseph James, right? Right. Because it's hard picking a name, right? Right. I had plenty of names, but Joseph James is pretty much the American version of my real name, Jose Santiago. Okay. So okay. I just flipped it. Right. My mom hates that name because right. she's like, you know, Hispanic ladies. They're like, I didn't name you that. Your name is Jose Santiago. <laughs> right, right, you know? right. So, but I told her it doesn't. Jose Santiago doesn't ring off good. Joseph right. James is easy. You right, know? right, so right. That's right. how I got the name. So, so tell us, tell us some of, some of your names before Joseph James. Dang. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I try to remember. One time, I, I used to be called like Metro. You know. Okay. It was like a tag because I do art, so like okay. that was like my graffiti tag. I don't think I had like a real rapper's name yet. Okay. So like, but like, I went through names. I guess young, it's hard young, picking names. Young Metro. You know what I mean? Young Metro. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So so tell us tell us, man. You know, starting off from your young Metro days. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? You're 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 now becoming an actual you know musician and right. an actual artist, man. What was what was your background like coming into coming into that whole stage as far as you actually becoming an artist? Yeah. Well, I mean, I was always around music. My grandparents used to play in, like, a Hispanic band in New York because I'm originally from New York. Okay. But my mom wanted to move out here to Boston for a better life. You know, New York was crazy back then. Right. So, in general, and then my pops was a hip-hop artist. He kind of started that reggae thong movement. People don't know that. Nice. But, like, he just kind of retired, you know, just gave it up. But, in general, I was always surrounded by music. Um, have I ever... I mean, I, I, I wasn't rapping when I was young, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was always into art, so I used to draw first. Okay. You know what I mean? So then eventually I just started. I used to freestyle, you know, but then I started getting older and started wanting to, you know, keep practicing, keep doing it. And then eventually I was like, all right, I need, I want to do this full time. So at what age did you start making music? Um, Right after high school. Okay. Okay. So I was like 18. What was What was that? that defining moment that said listen i'm gonna go full throttle with this thing 10 toes down and i'm actually gonna pursue a career as an artist well me and my brother recorded a song in my mom's basement it's called highway of love right because like how i got into music was my first love like crushed my heart right so i didn't know like i was trying to draw one day and i was like dang I was like, I can't, I'm not in the mood, so, like, how, how can I express myself? Right. So, I just started writing. So, like, mm. that's how I got into, like, really writing. Okay. It was like, I always tell people it was, like, my diary, you know what I mean? Right. It might sound a little cheesy, but I was like, it really helped me, like, release a lot, you know? Yeah. So, like, that's how I really got into music. And Highway of Love, like, was, like, it came out dope for, like, two young kids in a basement using GarageBand, you know what I mean? And right. I was like, and I showed it to people, and people was like, oh, that's, that's pretty dope. 
So your album covers are very, very artsy. Like, they look like painted portraits of you as opposed to, like, just regular yeah, yeah. photographs. Does one inspire the other? Like, does your music inspire your art and vice versa? Yeah, so in general, I'm always around, like, a lot of artists. When I say artists, I mean, like, musicians, graphic designer, painters, and, like, my whole family's artists. So in general, yeah, I get inspired by a lot of things. And, like, I try to create my album covers off of, like, what I'm talking about. So, like, the album Just Soy stands for Joseph James and Your Soy, my clothing line, which I put together as one since I was, like, branding it. And then I got, like, the whole, the cover of that album is, like, based on, like, the Tajinos, you know, Puerto Ricans are Tajinos. So, like, it's... It, it, Tajinos. Oh, yeah. you talk about that in power yeah. right now. Yeah, so, like... <laughs> Preach, Joey. <laughs> Preach, <laughs> So, I really think about everything that I do, you know what I mean? It's not just, like, oh, I like that color, you get what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. There's always something deep behind what I do. So, are you in charge of your own artwork for your album? Yeah, everything? so... I do my own artwork. Nice. I have a team, too, that helps me out sometimes mm-hmm. when I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I do a lot of artist stuff in the city, which people probably don't know that. But, like, I'm more, like, behind the background mm-hmm. scene. So, like, now I'm, like, coming forward. You know what I'm saying? So, like, everybody knows who I am that's doing music or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I'm just more behind the scene. But, like, now I'm like, all right, it's, time, it's my time to step forward now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I can give you a list of artists and you be like, oh, snap, I saw that cover. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or I saw that T-shirt design. Well, I'm curious now. Who are some of the artists that you've done things for? <laughs> hey, go uh, ahead. I did a lot of Latrell James work. Nice. Uh, nice. Carter Mars. Um, I, I, uh, 2016, I was working with Dutch Rebel on like mm-hmm. a clothing collection. She had a couple of our article uh, clothing and some um, newspapers and things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think who else. But yeah, I can go on. But yeah. Now, now, now Joey's home. This is your EP. Now, which which number project is this for you? So the album's j- just soy. Oh, Joey's, Joey's home soy. is like my 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 slogan, pretty okay, much. Yeah. Okay. But um, this is like, so this album, this EP, just like kind of like certified me as like, all right, he's an artist. You get what I'm saying? Okay. But like before that, I probably had like five projects before that. Okay. And how how did what was what was your mentality going into creating this one? Because from listening to mm-hmm. some of the songs, it has a certain vibe. It has a certain feel yeah. to it. So what was what was your mentality going into this one? And, and what was what is it that you wanted to express by putting this EP out? Yeah, so like before this EP, I was just trying to find myself as an artist. You know, you got to find yourself first. So like I used to do a lot of open mics, did a lot of shows, tested music out, you know, put out good music, bad music. So, like, it got me to this point where, like, I knew what my sound was. I knew how to, like, entertain the crowd because, you know, whether you you got cheered or booed, you know, you learn all that. So, in general, like, I just came with a good approach where, like, all right, I'm going to give give it my all on this project, you know. So, like, when you hear it, you're like, oh, this is dope. When you see me perform it, you're like, this is dope. And, like, all the music's always original. I got, like, uh, my brother produces some of my tracks. I got other people that produce it. So, like, I like to just make original music. So, it doesn't seem... I tried to put you in a category of music, and I couldn't, because you have the Hennessy song, where you're talking mm. about drinking Henny all night, mm. Henny all weekend. Then you have Love Notes, which is obviously a love song. So, how yeah, would yeah. you describe <laughs> your music to someone who's never heard it before? Um, I would say, like, when you hear my music, it's just like... And it's funny that you said Love Notes, because Love Notes is, like, old. <laughs> really? But well, it, it was but, out there for me. But, no, I leave it there. I leave it there, because... I want people to see like my progress of like where I mm-hmm. came from to mm-hmm. now. Get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And in general, I would say back then I used to just make music, you mm-hmm. know, like, all right, try to make a hit supposed to be, you know, but like hits aren't made. Like you don't, the, the hit, if you think it's a hit, it might not be a hit to somebody else. Right. So like in general, I really had to find myself as an artist and think about the music. Like my new album, Just Soy, like it really shows like my work. It shows how I've grown as an artist. So, like, in general, I took a step back. I took, like, a year off, probably, from making music just to find myself as an artist. Like, I used to just go to shows and watch. Nice. You know what wow. I mean? Wow. Like, I, a funny too. story. I went to the J. Cole concert, Forest Hills, last year, I think. And I was in the audience, and I was just watching. This girl was, like, turnt. 
she hit me in the show and I was like, why are you not like turn? But I was like studying J. Cole right. and all the other artists. Right. But that's the difference between me and just like, you know, a, a, a fan. fan. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So she didn't get that. She was really upset with me, but I was just like, you're messing up my zone. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So like, I like, I like to learn. You know what I mean? Right. No, that's dope. That's dope. I really like that, man. So, um, tell me, tell me about the, about the Yo Soy team, because from my understanding, and we got Yo Soy's very own DJ, right, DJ right. Nexus in the building. I mean. Um, so tell me, tell me more about the Yo Soy team. Yeah, so Yo Soy is um me, my brother Carlos, my brother Wes, DJ Nexus, and YM Prop. And, and, and for all you non-Spanish speaking uh, out people out there, <laughs> Herb, I mean, don't uh, act like you speak means, Spanish every that means day. I am. There you go. Okay. Okay. Don't right. let this man you know, just, make y'all just speak Just to be clear, Spanish just just to be day. clear for all the non-speaking Spanish folks in the building. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you why we chose that name too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, is it the power of I am? Yeah. So pretty much, like people be like, oh. Your soy is like a, a Spanish thing, you know what I'm saying? I can't wear that. But I'm, I tell people all the time, like, not a lot of Hispanics wear my clothing. I'm like, I got a lot of other friends that wear it, you know what I mean? So in general, it, the I am means, like, whoever you are is who you are, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, it just means a lot. So right. a, every day, you're, you who you who you are, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the but um, the team is, yeah, who I said, um, my two brothers, DJ Nexus, my boy Brian Prop, and then my mom helps, too. She, we sew stuff. Everything is, like, original artwork. Um, cut and sew so we do everything in house we have now, a print now, shop now, all that now, now talk about that because you actually mentioned that that your mom helped yeah and usually you know when when you think about artists going to their mom and telling their mom mom I'm gonna be a rapper you know what I'm saying they usually tell oh, don't waste your time with that right, go to right, college right, right. get a real job right so what was what was that like when you told your mom you know I'm gonna be an artist and how did how did she really receive especially it especially island parents <laughs> oh yeah you know that <laughs> well my mom's very supportive she always told me um whatever you want to do do it you know what I'm saying so she's like if you had a job right now and you and you're making good money but you don't love it she's like quit it mm. you know do something that you really love you know like people don't know that I'm a teacher. I teach in, in schools. So, like, um, right now I teach seventh grade mm-hmm. at a music school in Dorchester. Um, so I always give back to the community, too, that way. But in general, like, my mom plays a big role. So, like, nice. she's very supportive everything that I do. And you teach Dope. music, you said? Yeah, I teach music, yep. So talk about your tribe tour. Woo! Oh, yeah, 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 the tribe <laughs> tour. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's <laughs> go. I almost forgot about that. All right, so let's talk about it. First, I want to know, as an artist, how do you know that you're ready to go on tour? And as a teacher, you get the summers off. So I was like, perfect time for me to do a tour. Nice. So in general, I got with um, my boy, YM Prop, DJ Nexus, um, Smooth Gang, and my Shout boy, Ox. Smooth Gang. Yeah. So in general, we just came together, put our money together, and, and we had a tour. You know what I mean? And we went everywhere, New York, Boston, all over New England. So mm-hmm. like we traveled, you know? And it was a dope experience. And you don't see artists in our city do that. Get what I'm saying? Because everybody's trying to reach the top. But I'm like... Why not just do your own tour? You know what I mean? Right. And how was the music received when you were visiting these different cities? It was dope. Like one thing is like I've been to um, Minnesota and like they loved my music out there. And like when you get that, that feedback, you're like, dang, that's a great experience, you know? So that keeps you want to keep going. You know what I mean? And that was the first time I ever been to Minnesota and perform. Everybody's like, whoa, that was good music. So like in general, it was a good, good experience, you know, and just it keeps you wanting to, to do more. Joe, right. you gotta tell them that I ain't cut. I, I, hold on, what, I'm, what, what? I'm gonna intercept for one second. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this tour, guys. We had a, we had a, one of our tour dates was actually in New York. We did two shows in one day, right? The tour got so live, we actually ended up outside of oh, our yeah. location performing in front of at least a hundred people. Downtown Brooklyn craziness. I'm talking about a wireless mic filming a video at the same time. Yeah. yeah. We wow. took over the streets. So were there wow. other artists on tour? Or was oh, it yeah. just you? Yeah, no, no, no. There was other tar- there was oh, other okay. artists. Yeah, there was nice. other artists. Okay. We had the whole Smooth Gang. That's another mm-hmm. group. Yep. We had Ox and his crew. So yeah. like we oh, had okay. couple, okay. we had yeah. Maverick from Jerry Nine Point Five. He's on tour with us. So nice, nice. That's dope. Where, how how did you get that? Because it, it it seems like you're very you know business minded. You know you're, you're you're putting on your own tours. You're doing your own merch. Yeah. Where does where does that mentality come from? I well for me I always wanted to be that person when I look back I don't look back like man what if I did that you know mm-hmm. so everything that I do I do it so I can look back and be like at least I tried that you know what I mean like if this rapping thing doesn't go where like it's going where I want to go but if it doesn't go where I want to go right I'm gonna be like at least I tried you know right and right. like people think that you want to be famous you know what I mean 
that's where where it's at and that's that means you made it but i'm like there's a whole bunch of artists that's not known and they're living comfortably you know what i mean absolutely and doing what they love absolutely absolutely so who are some of your musical inspirations or who inspires the way you make music because there are a couple songs that i heard um and I know the tour was called the Tribe Tour. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if that had anything to do with it, but I felt like I heard like a common type of vibe, you know, like okay. the real poetic type yeah, yeah. of thing. Yeah. So, I mean, I always wrote poetry. So, like, mm-hmm. that plays a big part in my music. Um, the Tribe Tour came, the title comes because, like, we did it with different groups mm-hmm. and, like, of course, my Yasoi okay. brand. So, I was like, all right, we all have our own tribe. So, mm-hmm. the Tribe Tour, you know? Okay. And, um, yeah. So. All right. Um, yeah. So, and so who are some of the artists you've worked with oh, yeah. in Boston? Um, oh, you, you also would... said who inspired me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please so, answer that. So, I mean, my pops was number one. Um, of course, Big Pun. My favorite rapper of all Big time pun. is Nas and Biggie. But, like, I like to also give props to people in my city. So, Latrell James is one of mm-hmm. my big artists that, um, I work with and he inspires me all the time. Um, my, my good friend, um, uh, YM Prop also. And Danny Paul, who's on that record, Rocket Ship. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's a whole bunch of people that I can name. And, like, even artwork, I get inspired for a song, you know? Right, right. So, yeah, and um, you said who I worked with? Yeah, or is there anyone that you would like to work with in Boston that you haven't worked with yet? Um, Not at this moment. I feel like I worked with a lot of people, whether it was music or not music. Mm -hmm. It's a good experience, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like... Yeah, I feel like, I mean, later on down the road, there might be someone. But, like, right now, I'm just, like, focused on the Joseph James brand, you know, really trying to push myself and, like, you know, really work. So that's why you see me, like, everywhere pretty much. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Well, um, let's go ahead and get into some more of the music, man. We we, we did a lot of talking. And oh, man. I like to let the music speak for itself. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So next is, man, go ahead and put us on to some music. We'll be back with more Joseph James. We also got some tickets that we're giving away, too. Yes, sir. To the show on Friday. So make sure you guys call in 857 857- 366-5444. Call in. My man Joseph James is giving away them tickets. Next is put us on to some of this Yo Soy music, man. We will. We will. Joey's calling. But we got to get back to the gala first. Hold on. Yeah, 